Okay, after months of loving purple hair on Pinterest, I decided just to dye my hair myself. My hair is naturally a dark brown, as you can see by my eyebrows, it's really similar to that. It's got some permanent, semi-permanent colour built up on it. Um, I'm not professional, so this is just how I did mine, so it's just a DIY video to see how I've done it. Um, but please don't take my stuff as gospel. First of all, you'll need a hairbrush to get all your tangles out. Some bleach powder, I use Schwarz Goffs Blonde Me. Uh, I used a 6% um, developer, which is 20 volume, and a tinting brush and bowl, some Vaseline, hair dye, I use Directions Lilac and Violet, and some conditioner. So, first of all, um, wear a long sleeve top. If you use bleach and you've got long hair, it just keeps it off your arms, and you're going to need gloves. I forgot to say that. So, I've done a wee test patch, which is now turned green. Um, but I've bleached my hair in the past and it's all different colours. So use your bleach powder. There's not a set mix, or well I don't use a set mix. I use bleach powder and I use developer and I mix them up. And if they're too thick, I add more developer. If they're too thin, I use more powder. And um, so here I'm mixing it up and I have decided it's a little bit on thick side, so I'm gonna put a little bit more developer in. What the consistency you're looking for is like whipped cream. If it's too thin, you're going to get it everywhere. And if it's too thick, it's going to kind of dry out and appear patchy when it's bleaching your hair. So a whipped cream looks perfect. So, section all your hair off. I am going to use the bottom bit of my hair first. And then I'm going to bleach all the way up to the top. So, using the gloves that I forgot to mention. And um, take small sections and just using your hands, not a brush, and just working in the bleach from the tip of my hair towards the roots. Um, I'm not going to go all the way up to the roots because I kind of want it looking quite rooty. Um, I don't really want my whole head bleached. So what I'm using is I'm using the product of bleach and I'm working it in and then I'm adding a little bit more and working it higher up and adding a little bit more and then when I get to the kind of bit that I want to stop I just start to rub it up so it kind of fades out I'm not adding any more product and with each section you're wanting to do a different lengths so the bleach doesn't look like you've got a nice big strip. As you can see, see here, I've got loads of different kind of highlights. Some are going higher, some are going lower. And there we go. Kept it on for 40 minutes, rinsed it out, blow dried it. And as you can see, it's light, but it's not light enough. When I put the hair, purple hair dye on, you'll see it just doesn't really take that well. So here it is. <laughs> Disappointingly, it went almost like it was still a brown. The tips are purple, and um, that section that I had dyed before here, that's nice and purple, but oh, the rest of it was just like a muddy, browny, had purple tint. So I'm taking different wee sections, and yes, I'm bleaching it again. If you have fine hair, do not do this. I have really thick, coarse hair, and it takes bleach okay, but I am already planning on cutting a good bit of my hair off, so I didn't mind so much. If you're precious with your hair, do not do this. And right, with some tin foil, took some random sections, and really slathered on a lot of bleach. The tin foil is going to help when you close it over, keep in a wee bit of this heat, which is going to develop it faster because I only want this on for 20 minutes, 25 minutes at the most. I'm taking wee random sections and um, again I'm not here, you can see I'm going a wee bit higher at times, a wee bit lower for the bleach line. I don't want it to be a nice big crisp line across, you never want that, that just looks terrible. Um, and just folding them up. So this is now all the bottom section right here. The top section and the foils, they're just little wee highlights. The bottom section, I'm just going to lighten. The first time I had bleach on, it had bleach on there for a while, so I don't really want to spend time sectioning this all off because I just want it on for a real bare minimum of time. Um, so I'm just slathering it on with my hands, and again, the higher I work up, the less products on my hands, so it kind of fades out kind of naturally. Right, so shoving it all on my hair, kept it on for 20 minutes, 
rinsed it off and dried it and now you can see it's a lot, lot lighter. Um, so, happy with that, my curly hair. Right, here's the directions, lilac and violet. Um, they don't actually look like this in real life, so I'll colour correct in a minute. It looks really blue here. Um, but I didn't use any conditioner because I wanted it to really stick. Here, there we go, that's the colour. It's like a, a proper violet shade and my wee hands look green. So, we want to protect your skin from the dye and so I put on loads of Vaseline anywhere that my hair can actually kind of fall on my face by mistake, which is everywhere. And I put it around my neck, I put it around my ears, I put it up and down my arms. I would suggest wearing like a long sleeve top when you're dyeing hair, especially if you've got long hair because it really, really helps stop and get and dye all over whenever I dye my hair, I've always got it all over my head. Right, I didn't have a huge amount of dye, so I wanted to make sure I had enough for the top of my hair so it didn't look patchy. So I did the top wee section first, just where my parting is. Um, and then I went down and from the bottom to the top, just shoved it all on. There's no art to this just made sure and just really work it in. But here I've got little wee spots of hair dye on my skin so I'm just rubbing it off and because the Vaseline's there it's not stuck. And there we go! I left it on for about two hours, washed it off with cold water oh, and then blow dried it. So this is my finished effect. Thanks very much and please like and share, put on Pinterest, do whatever. Thanks very much, bye!